Let's further discuss this now with Fabrizio Poli. He is the author of The Quantum Economy, an aviation advisor and the co-founder of Flight TV Network. It's an absolute pleasure having you on the program, sir. So what are your thoughts on Boeing pleading guilty? Families of the victims have called it a sweetheart deal and they want a trial to ultimately find out what happened to their loved ones. Well, Boeing have to, you know, find a way of, you know, that this thing doesn't cost them too much money. Um, and, you know, having a trial uh, is going to drag on. And as that kind of thing drags on, people are not going to trust Boeing. They're not going to order Boeing airplanes. So this is a way of Boeing to try and settle the case right away. Now, whether or not this will be settled this way, because a lot of people have complained, we'll have to wait and see. Well, Boeing has been in the spotlight uh, for the lack of safety measures that it has taken. What do they need to do to repair the damage that has been done? Well, first of all, and they have been doing this already, they have to hire the right people and train them in a certain way and have a system to make sure that, you know, things are done properly, you know, screws are, are tight uh, and all that kind of thing. Um, and they are doing that. They have already made a lot of changes um, and they're going through a lot more changes and they plan more changes. So they are they are fixing the problem, which is which is really, really important. How has it been for business? Have their customers lost confidence in the company to renew contracts? They have. They have. I mean, there was there used to be a saying, I mean, I'm a Boeing pilot myself. And we always used to jokingly say, if it's not Boeing, I'm not going. But now the passengers are saying, if it's Boeing, I'm not going. So people are ringing up airlines to book their flights and they're saying, what type of airplane am I flying on? And if it's a Boeing, they're, they're switching to another airline that, that flies Airbus. Um, and this never happened before. I mean, people would just book their ticket, try and find the cheapest ticket and go. But now people are asking the question, is it a Boeing? And if it's a Boeing, they're not too keen. So, you know, Boeing have, um, you know, they have a difficult road ahead right now to sort of repair the damage that's been done. And of course, now we've got the the their rocket that was launched a few weeks ago. They're sitting up at the space station with a few problems and they can't bring the astronauts down. And, you know, and if something happens to that rocket, that's going to hit Boeing even more. But the problem is, you know, with Boeing, 37 percent of their contracts last year were government contracts, U.S. government contracts. And so I don't think the U.S. government are going to allow a big giant like Boeing to fail. Um, you know, Boeing have have built some really good airplanes and rockets and things in the past. They're just going through this bad patch at the moment. They made some mistakes and they just have to you know, repair those mistakes, which they are doing. But, you know, in the public's eye right now, if it's Boeing, I'm not going. Right. And. Uh you know, that saying, if it's Boeing, I'm not going. Is that something that you would suggest passengers check before they fly? No, I, I've, I've flown 6,000 hours as a pilot on Boeing's. They're very safe airplanes. I mean, the two accidents that happened were, it was due to pilot training and the pilot training was, you know, a fault of Boeing. You know, Boeing knew that they had this computer. They should have put it in the manuals. They should have, you know, had simulator training scheduled for the pilots instead of a quick iPad 50 minute training. Um, they should have done this. They didn't do it because they wanted to sell more airplanes and they wanted the airlines to realize, oh, our pilots don't need to, you know, be pulled offline for a week and to be put in the simulator where they're not being productive, they're just training. Um, you know, if it's just a quick 50 minute training on their iPad, they can do at home. And that's what caused this, this whole problem. Um, but, you know, it's all down to pilot training, really. And of course, Boeing need, need to be more transparent. That, that's, it was lack of transparency on behalf of Boeing and the pilot training which caused this. Indeed. Fabrizio Poli, thank you so much for being with us here on the News Hour. It was a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you.